200 uh, Democrats are suing Trump over for foreign business dealings. Um, so almost 200 Democratic lawmakers uh, sued to block President Trump from taking any money from foreign states at his global business uh, without getting congressional approval first, claiming his acceptance of such benefits violates the Constitution. It is the latest shot at the Trump administration from Democrats on Capitol Hill, who on Tuesday praised his Attorney General Jeff Sessions for uh, information about his role in the probe into the Trump campaign's links to Russia. It's an issue the Democrats also brought up in the lawsuit. Well, there you go. So this was suggested by Karen Sheets. Karen, uh, who is a Patreon supporter, who supports the show numerous ways, has joined into many of the Super Chat Sundays and contributed there, which is fantastic. And Karen, this is her question, and you get to suggest stuff like this if you're a Patreon backer. I want to know about the story of Democrats suing Trump over foreign business dealings. Do they have a leg to stand on, or will this get thrown out or sat on? Um, or is it just crazy we have to do this to make him follow the law? Well, yes, it is crazy that anyone has to do this to make him follow the law because he's just like, I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I want. Uh, I'm a rich kid. I was given a million dollars by my daddy. Uh, I have filed, I bankrupted, what, six companies and I keep failing upwards. I can you know, sexually abuse women and no one holds me accountable. I can be an asshole. I can kick people out of their houses. Um, I can be a slumlord, I can be a racist, I can do whatever I want, and no one's gonna hold me accountable. That is absolutely true. Um, but specific to this, if they wanted to impeach Trump on the emollience clause, they could have done this a long time ago. So what this tells me, this thing by the Democrats, I don't really trust the Democrats, even if it's 200 of them, there might be a handful in there that, that are decent or don't have their heads completely up their asses or they've only you know, given a couple of corporate hand jobs. <laughs> um, it's, it's, I, I don't, try, I, I don't, I think this is more just distraction bullshit. The Russia thing is a huge distraction. The fact that the Republicans and the corporate media are like, well, oh, Russia, Russia. And even people are finally starting to wake up in the corporate media. And even some Democrats even, Corporate Democrats are starting to say this. We've, you know, they've been investigating this Russia thing in the since July of last year. It's that's a year. We don't have evidence. I did the whole article that Caitlin Johnstone, uh, the video from the Caitlin Johnstone article that she put in Medium.com, the five myths to debunk Russia Gate. It's all bullshit. They don't, if they had evidence, they would do it. Like if there was serious, and if the only links they can find to Trump is that he's done crooked business deals. Okay, it's not a reason for Donna Brazil and other corporate Democrats to call for World War III. It just means he's he's corrupt, just like the Clintons. When Bill Clinton got paid five hundred million dollars to speak to uh, to speak over in Russia, the Clinton Foundation sold uranium uh, to Russian businessmen and Russian uranium companies. So it's oh, he's just corrupt like them. So to me, this is complete. Nonsense. I found an article in Bloomberg.com. I'll read you this quote. My skepticism borders on disbelief, said Jonathan Turley, a professor at George Washington University Law School, who has argued that Congress should have a greater right to sue over constitutional questions than courts generally allow. He also represented House Republicans in a lawsuit against President Barack Obama's signature health care law. The fact that Congress has an attempted to get information on the alleged emollients dramatically undermines the legal action, Turley said. This is off the map in terms of a legally cognizable claim. <laughs> See, it's more bullshit. This, I think, is Democrats and they'll put this on their Twitter feed. We're resisting because they, they see that more people on the left are beginning to wake up to their corporate bullshit. They're beginning to see, oh wait, the Democrats take corporate money. The Democrats have fucked us over. The Republicans have always said, we're the corporate party. They've always just said that. The Democrats, in my opinion, are some ways worse because they claim to be the, for the people and everything like that. And then they're just taking all this fucking corporate money too. So these 200 Repub Democrats got together and went, hey, I just want this on this bullshit Trump lawsuit on the books because I'm up for reelection in 2018. So I want to be like, I fought hard and Trump is scandal and Russia, Russia. I think it's all bullshit, Karen. 
and anyone else. And then, you know, it's, It, it, yeah, they have the they have the evidence. They could compel him to overturn to to hand over his tax returns. They could they could as I said they could have impeached him. The the goddamn uh, electoral college in December before he was sworn in could have said you know what there's enough corruption here with his international be dealings. The emoluments clause he's not we can't let him be president. He has already broken the law. He uh, broken the constitution. He's, he, we can't have him legally. It, he can't be president. And they could have said that. And wouldn't it have been great if they would have said, nah, neither can Hillary. We're going to let Jill Stein be president or Gary Johnson. <laughs> that would have been fantastic. But no, I, I don't see this as, this is more just banging the drum and it's, they try to tie in Russia in this lawsuit. I don't trust 200 Democrats at all. It's bullshit. It's more nonsense in my opinion. Karen, thank you so much for suggesting this. Guys, if you go to the Patreon link that is below, you can suggest topics like this. Thank you for bringing this up. And um, thank you for supporting the show, Karen, and all the Patreon backers. All, you see all their names in the credits below. You too could have your name in the credits if you decided to do that. Like and subscribe. The show has grown so much. I'm so proud of it. When I dropped the first episode, J January 2nd, I had 164 subscribers. Now we've got over 3,500 and we keep growing. We started the Patreon. It was at 40 some dollars the first month back in February. Now it's at over $400. So we, the more we can grow it, the more stuff we're going to buy. And I'm going to do, I'm going to blow this thing out. I'm going to turn the Graham Elwood channel into a big thing. My goal is to make it big like the Young Turks and I want to cover all different subjects. I want to hire reporters to go cover things. I want to cover the sport, sports that aren't being covered like the WNBA, which I'm a huge fan of. That's what I'm going to do with this channel. And you guys are helping making it great. You guys are awesome. And so thank you. Thank you to Karen Sheets and all the Patreon backers. And I'm going to keep doing the work because you guys inspire me every day.